Right, guys, I'm playing uh, Call of Duty Wars on mobile. Uh, this is a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. Uh, I'm using a DualSense controller. Like I told you guys, all you have to do is press share and um, connect on uh, your uh, DualSense controller. There's two buttons that are next to those uh, blue line things or whatever color lines you've got. If you watch my other videos, you'll you, you, you see how it's very easy to connect your controller to this. I'm playing Mosh Pit. Mosh Pit is actually a, a lot of fun. It's really fun. Right, so I'm just looking at these. They're saying these are new skins that have been added. These skins are actually coming from Call of Duty 3. So if you, if you play Call of Duty 3, then uh, you, you probably already know these skins. Right, so we're playing hard point and this is shipment. The last one we had was uh, was a, a, lo a lot of fun. The gun that I actually picked is quite good. So everything you see me doing here is I'm playing uh, with the distance controller. It's a PS5 gamepad. Uh, so my SD4 has got um, Mountain Lover skin. Oh, it's not to kill this guy. He's killing himself. All they have to do here is throw in a grenade and they can kill everybody. Ah, damn. If they throw in a grenade, then everyone will die. kill him but I wasn't able to ah damn you know the mistakes I'm making here are quite dumb I've got tear gas on me I think that they're not even trying to make an effort in right so my SP got mountain lava on it the last game we played was really good I mean I really enjoyed it oh my god we were playing um, Domination. See, they threw a grenade. Everyone there is dead, I bet you. I'm just telling you. Wow! I changed my operator. I was using uh, John Doe. But I changed that because I, I, I have a feeling that um, some of these operators may slow down the game. Damn. So, yeah. Changing maps. Enemy KIA. Hardcore zero pressure. Enemy KIA. Look at me. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, you know, you know, you're gonna die now, right? <laughs> See? That's why I know these these dudes here. Yeah, they're not expecting you to. Nice one. I think I've got all my stuff back now. If you're a wall, why wait? It's saying I've got something here. Oh my god, I got all three kill, kill streaks. I got all my kill streaks. Wait, wait, wait. I need to come in here. I got the missile thing. Wait, wait. Oh wow, check this out. I got the missile as well. 
Uh, already killed them. Oh, wow, they spawned right there. Right in front of me. This game is fun, man. I I'm telling you, if you don't like the, the quad, the, the full version, you you're going to love this one. And when they die, you can just pick up the weapon. Oh my god. I thought this was gonna be a, a boring uh, take. You know, like, you know what I mean? I didn't think this was gonna be like the full proper version. Oh my god, grenade. Straight into the claymore. I got the missile as well. Let me run in here. I just want to get my missile ready. I I, I want to kill at least five of them. <laughs> if I can get five. Yes, I got two. Nice one. Look at that. I've got the S S A S thingy. Right. Let's see. Oh, oh my god. Okay. There we go. Check that out. Ah, oh my god. But I got, I got all of them anyway. They're all probably dead. Them and I still run away. Catch your six. Oh my god. I'm just getting so many of them. Wow. Alright, nice one. The mosh pit is actually the style of the show here, yeah, I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying, if you don't like the um, PC version, this is definitely going to be something good for you. Oh, check this out. I'm getting a lot of kills in this game. What's the hot point? Oh my god. My bad aiming. Look at this guy. Oh my god, teammate. Oh, you ran straight into my bullet. Oh, look at that. 180 to 18 points. Honestly, can you believe that? A hundred eighty to eighteen points. That's madness. You really, really drain those dudes. So the mosh pit has got different maps on it and I think it does have all of the team deathmatch, domination, hard points and I don't know what the fourth one is. Is that kill confirmed, the fourth one?
right so you get about 10 loadouts but at the moment i'm just using one um to play warzone you got a loadout and to play the one that i'm playing which is uh, the battle royale this is the battle royale this one is um, oh my god Wow. On this one, you're gonna get a lot of snipers. There's a lot of sniping on this one. So there's a lot of sniping on this uh, map. Uh, what people will mostly do. Uh, what people will mostly do is they go to the other um, building. I'll show you the building. That building up there. And the snipers will just be sniping people from the top. So if you got claymores on you, my suggestion is put claymores right here. Right there. Put a claymore right there. So if the enemy team does come in, then at least... Uh, see? And you can at least kill them. Oh yeah, and when you do shoot them, don't just leave them there because hundred percent of the time. Because hundred percent of the time they, they can bring themselves back, you see? Like he's trying to bring himself back. But the only thing I notice is that you, you can't really you can't revive your team member. I, I don't know if if um, you qu you can, but I tried it uh, and I noticed that I couldn't revive anyone. Right, so there's there's uh, kill confirmed where you grab the tags and. Uh, okay, it's, it's up there. Enemy movement. You know, um, I would say that I actually prefer the mosh pit more than the the team uh, than the thingy. Right. So let me just use the missile. Let's see where these things are. Damn. I think I missed the dude. So I got UAV and I've got the missile launcher. Damn. This guy is running really fast. Ah! My weapon wasn't reloaded. <laughs> my weapon wasn't reloaded. That was a pity. That was a shame. I, I could have killed both of them. Right, there's another hot point over here. I'm pretty sure there's someone in here. Ah, come on. Damn it. So the second weapon I have is really good. I just noticed it's a very good weapon. Right, where this guy is coming from. Wow. Oh, he's hiding. His body, she's melting. <laughs> oh my god, she's melting. I mean, th this this game is really fun. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong wanting to play this. Oh my god! And like I said, you, you can you can get all the skins. You can get all the skins that you own. Uh, from COD 3. Uh, if you if you purchase COD 3 on Steam or Bionet or uh, PlayStation or Xbox, whatever skins, whatever skins you've got there, you can uh, transfer them. I mean, they they will be on your uh, Activision account.
They will be on your account. What this guy is trying to do? Right, so if you double click on your left, um, if you double click on your left thumb, uh, left stick. If you double click on your left stick, uh, you'll start sprinting. Like you lift up your weapon, you understand? Wait, can I put a claim on here? Uh, if you're wondering how to open doors, you just have to rush into this. Uh, because I haven't found a way... I haven't found a way in which you can open doors and close them. Why is this guy in this direction? I think I see him coming in from that direction. Look at that. This game is really raw, man. You know, you know when I was when I, when I when I when I got this game today, I I didn't take it seriously. I just thought it's another card shooter, you know. It's gonna be fun, but that's basically it. You, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a bit of fun, and then that's basically all all I'm gonna get from this. But I didn't I didn't realize. I didn't realize how much fun I was going to actually have with the game. The war zone part of things, that's what I'm saying, the war zone part of things isn't all that, isn't all that uh, fancy. Especially if, if you, oh my god, see that? What did he use? A knife? What did he use for? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a grenade. I was wondering, I thought he threw a knife or something. What I'm saying is, I didn't take this game seriously. I, di I, didn't, I didn't even take this game seriously when I first uh, showed up on my Samsung and on my iPhone. The iPhone one started uh, installing the game straight away. And I didn't even take that seriously. But uh, due to playing uh, the Warzone, I I'll just say I'm not a fan of the Warzone uh, mode. I'm a fan of the uh, walk on mode, but the mosh pit is a different story. I'm, I'm really enjoying mosh pit. And if you don't know what mosh pit is, it's just a smaller, smaller maps. It's a smaller map. It's a smaller map. It's like a team death match, except you get like different things you have to do. So it might be hard points. It might be um, kill confirmed. Close the door. Right. You closed the door, did you see that? You closed the door. I don't know how you did that though. Or maybe it's because I'm I'm actually playing the assault rifle mark. I'm actually playing this with a controller. So maybe that's why. I'm just saying I'm playing this with a controller, so maybe that's why I'm not having that ability to close the doors. I'm just saying maybe that's why I don't have that function. I saw that good uh, open and close the door, but I don't have that function on my um, PSN, or maybe I'm just going to have to do it. Oh my god, those guys are mixed up man, you see that guy was shooting right next to one of my teammates, I mean my one of my team members, and I couldn't tell what was going on. That's a dude, this is an enemy. But the one feature I like the most is the, the mountain level. You know, like the, the black cell stuff that I've got on this. Like when you shoot someone, they don't just dissolve. It takes a while for them to dissolve completely. Uh, 
uh, when they shoot you, you're, you're still able to revive yourself as well. So that's one feature that, that you will find. So when you shoot these dudes, don't just think he's down and out instead. Kind of make sure that they are dead because, like I said, if, if he's down. Oh my god. See? So even though he's down, don't just leave him down because he can revive himself. See? Check this out. They're, they're trying to bring themselves back. You see? They have to shoot them again to make sure they're dead. So that's why I'm saying don't just shoot and leave them because they can revive themselves. They can come back. That gives the game another element like you're not done and out. You can still come back and fight. That's what I'm saying. Be careful when you do shoot these dudes. Just make sure they're really dead, you know? I'm telling you, I, I really, I thought I was just going to play this game and, and say it's boring, but it ain't boring. It's fun. Just, um, I think I, I, I really need to find a, a more comfortable way to sit. I'll find a more comfortable way to sit and then I can play this game longer, you know? Ah, uh, damn. I mean, I've got bad aiming. It's not the game for my aiming is really bad. I wasn't aiming properly like the this kid. But like, like, like I'm saying, if you don't want to play this, if you don't want to play this uh, using. If you don't want to play this using uh, touch control. You can definitely play this on a DualSense controller. Ah, oh, 200 out of 120. Nice one. So if you don't want to play this using a your touch uh, screen, you can use this. I'm using a DualSense controller. See that? That's a DualSense. It's a DualSense gamepad and it's wireless as well. And that's the phone there. See? It's a phone. You can see I'm still able to touch the screen and do all of that. But mainly I'm playing with this. So if you're wondering how I'm playing this, this with that. I tried to map it before with using my gamepad, but it, it just didn't work with the gamepad that I've got. And if you're wondering what gamepad am I talking about, this one, you see? See the buttons uh, popping up? That's a gamepad, so it's actually sitting on a gamepad. Um, I'll show you uh, a little bit better. Let me, let me uh, use my phone as a flashlight. There you go. That's the gamepad I'm talking about. That's the BSP D3, so it's it's got glowing, uh, glowing buttons and stuff. The one in the background there, that's the backbone with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So why I'm not playing it now is obviously the Activision account I have is one Steam. So once I log into that one, I'm going to, you know what I'm going to try and do? I'm going to try and create a separate account on the, on the iPhone and then just keep this one here because it's my main account. That's the one that's connected to Steam. You understand? So I don't see why I need to use both because if I go into the backbone, which I think, I believe is going to be better, you know, uh, because obviously it's got better controls. But then the thing is, I like the screen size of this. It's just bigger. It's better for me as well. I don't know graphically. I think the iPhone is going to defeat this uh, Samsung. It, iPhone is always better in graphics ter terms, but the screen size is what I'm liking. So I like the Samsung. I just like the double screen. It's a bigger screen as well. I can sit back, play games. The, the iPhone on its own, I'll need to like, because the DualSense doesn't work on the iPhone. Well, it doesn't work on my iPhone. I don't know about the iPhone 15. Uh, but the 14 Pro Max, uh, that's why I bought the backbone. Well, so this dude here, I can just sit back on my bed. Just uh, It's on a stand, you see, there's a stand here. 
I don't know if you guys can notice this, this is a stand. It's on an actual stand. If I take this off, you see? So it's actually sitting down on this stand. And it says, and I can change the direction. It's only that because I'm recording a video, that's why I have it in this position. But I can make it straight up, just tilt it the way I want to. And then obviously play games using the DualSense controller, which is wireless. As you can see, nothing's connected to this it's Type C. Nothing's connected to this. I mean, it's connected Bluetooth wise. That's why it's got a little light there. But what I'm saying is, what I'm liking is the screen. I can sit back, play the game. And it's not taking anything away from the game, you know. But then I'm looking at the, the iPhone and I'm thinking the graphics will look a whole lot nicer here. But I'm going to sign up on this one and try and create like a new account. It won't have all the skins of this one, but I'm thinking it doesn't matter. Um, I have the main one here. And like I said, the screen real estate is quite big. I've, I'm getting more value on the Samsung than I'm going to get on the iPhone. So on the iPhone, I'm not saying it's a bad phone. I'm saying that I'm going to create a different account and play it there. And let's see what happens. Because this one's using my main account from COD Mobile and from uh, Call of Duty 3. So I, I, I don't want to mess things up. I don't want to keep swapping between them because eventually it will cause a problem. So I leave this one here, then sign up on a different account on that one. And I'll just buy skins for the other one. You know, I'll, I'll buy a Battle Pass or whatever on the other one. It's not a problem. It's not a big issue. The game-wise, do I recommend it? Yes. Uh, if you're somebody, if you're tired of playing COD Mobile, maybe because you think it's a kiddie game type thing, you want something a bit more mature, this is the one. And uh, I recommend that uh, instead of playing the Battle Royale or the Rebirth Resurgence or the Mobile Royale, try and play Marsh Pit. Marsh Pit is like Team Deathmatch, um, Domination, uh, what's that on? Kill Confirmed, where you get the tags. And I'm trying to think hard points, hard points, you know, all these things you get from COD Mobile, but here it's just, it looks fantastic. And it's 12 players, it's six versus six, and it's smaller maps. I mean, it's a small map, you just run, okay, you run, you run, run in circles, but the graphics look good, gameplay is fantastic, and the fact that when you shoot someone, they can still bring themselves back. So it's not like you're down and out, you can still revive yourself. You see, you can still get back into the match. So if someone thinks they gun, gun you down, you're down on the ground and they run off, you can bring yourself back up and chase after them. And you got, you got skill streaks. Uh, your weapons have skins. So my weapon is the SV4, which has got molten lava. So when I shoot someone, the body dissolves into golden lava, you know? It's just, it's fun. This is a fun game. If you're mature, you're tired of COD Mobile, um, you, you play COD... Let's, let's just say you've got uh, Call of Duty 3 on your PlayStation or Xbox or on your laptop PC and you want that same experience on the mobile, just play Mosh Pit on uh, um, Call of Duty um, uh, Wars on mobile. If you play Mosh Pit, you'll see what I'm talking about and you'll, you'll actually make videos about it and telling people that, look, Mosh Pit is the best one if you don't want to. The Warzone one... I think eventually if they bring higher graphics, like ultra graphics, it's going to look a whole lot nicer. At the moment, it looks a bit uh, graphically challenged. I think, I think, you know, I think it's based on gay, on phones and stuff. Maybe it's a phone thing, but mine's a Z45. It should be looking a, a little bit nicer, right? I'm not saying it's bad. When, you, when you're drifting downwards, it looks good. It's just some buildings look a bit weird. I mean... It's not bad for for a first game opportunity. Oh yeah, I also have the other game, Blood Strike. Uh, that came out today as well. On, uh, I think on iPhone it's been there for a while, but it's it's the global release was today, and Blood Strike is um, well, I haven't played it yet, but I think it's a battle royale as well. The same that's got good graphics, high quality graphics. They also said it's more optimized for for Android and for iPhone. It's more optimized for uh, mobile, you know, um, for phones and stuff. So I've not played Blood Strike yet, but that's another game I'd like to play. But this one, obviously, this is a game, it's a very popular game. And to be honest, I don't know if Blood Strike is gonna reach this uh, potential of Warzone. I, I, I'm not, I'm not saying it, it, it can't. I haven't played the game yet, but I just get a feeling like I don't think it can. 
if I jump out of that quickly, I'm going to launch it. I'm just going to show you the games that I've got. Right, so Blood Strike, like I told you, the global release was today. Uh, War Thunder Mobile, that's been out for a long time. Identity V, uh, that, that's been out a long time. That's like the Death by, Dead by Daylight uh, type game. PUBG Mobile, I told you guys, it does work with my D3. It works with this controller. But um, the only issue I was having is that the controls for the, for the Battle Royale uh, get mixed up, especially when you're trying to play... I mean, when you're playing the team deathmatch arena stuff, the game plays really well. I, I think you've watched from the videos, they look really good. But the only problem is, if you try to play the battle royale, it, it swaps the the controls. They don't stay the same. I, I don't know how to describe it. The controls, you know, it, 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 it's like it doesn't know that you're playing the battle royale. You know, it thinks you're still playing team deathmatch. And you can't change the controls. You can't change them. But if you go back into the team that much, it then changes again. It's just weird. Um, so, yeah. But, I mean, it works with the D3. If you've got a D3 gamepad, the Bluetooth gamepad, glowing buttons like mine, it will work. PUBG will work with Samsung. Right. Uh, Cod Mobile. Cod Mobile does work on this uh, gamepad. I, I don't use the D3. I didn't have to map anything for Cod Mobile. It just works with the D3. So that's not an issue. Fortnite, I already showed you guys, Fortnite Mobile works on this uh, D3, no problem. You don't need to map anything. Uh, if you want to play War Robots, this uh, D3 does support Xbox wireless controller, but uh, you need to know how to do it. You need to press the R, I think it's the R3, the top button thing here, trigger with the, uh, st with the, with the on button. And I think it's, it's from there that you... Sorry if my screen is a bit uh, thingy. I think it's because I've been moving it around a bit, you know. Right, so basically, what I'm talking about is this D3 can play War Robots, but you need to change it to Xbox Wireless Controller, Xbox Controller, whatever you want to call it, and it will work flawlessly. Fortnite works with this uh, D3, whatever you want to use. It'll just work with the D3 uh, Bluetooth gamepad. Uh, if you've got Xbox, the Game Pass thing, uh, Fortnite, any games, they work with D3, no problem. The COD Warzone, uh, I, it, the, it wouldn't let me map the, the, the right joystick. So I was left with no choice but to use my DualSense controller. That's how I found out that it works with the gamepad. So I was ple pleasantly surprised, like I said. That means I don't have to hold the phone. I can just leave it. And because it's on a stand, I can just uh, reposition the stand, sit back on my bed and just play the game. And because of the way the graphics are, I don't need to be looking directly at the screen to see the characters like in Cod Mobile. There's, there's a bit tinier. I mean, I like Cod Mobile. I'm not saying anything bad about it, but Warzone looks a bit more mature. Characters are bigger. You know, you, you don't need to be face. You don't need the phone in your face. That's what I'm trying to say. It, it can be at a distance and you're lying on your bed and you can still see what's going on. So that's one thing I like about Cod Mobile. I'm just showing you my other games. I, I will be checking on Bloodstrike. Uh, I'll make a video of that actually.